The flag of the Republic of Cyprus, a symbol of unity of Cyprus, of the Cypriot people, Greek, Cypriot, Turkey, Cypriot, Armenians, Maronites. The struggle for one united Cyprus continues. A solution of federated, uh, uh, by Zola, by communal federation, is not a solution because it keeps the people apart. In the 21st century, to divide an island on ethnic and religious grounds is a crime. And that crime has not been yet punished because those who committed the crime are powerful. Turkey is powerful and she hasn't paid the price. Behind her, the United States, United Nations, NATO, even Europe. Europe today has committed another crime against the Greek Cypriot people by imposing this harsh, cruel term of austerity measures. The Greek people told them that they cannot live with those austerity measures, but they punished them because they took a stop. But justice has no time limit. So friends, have courage and we continue the struggle. Let's raise the flag, the Cyprus flag and the European flag. One United Cyprus. 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 Now we will go inside the theater where we can talk a little more and then to listen to the master maestro Mikhailunis orchestra and music which is sung by the layman. So if we all go that direction, we go into the theater. Follow me. Well spoken, George. Das 
somewhere in the middle. Organizations in, in London, Cypriot, uh, big Cypriot organizations, uh, the uh, National Federation of Cypriot. Why are theatre technics? Well, there is a history because theatre technics started the Cyprus Weeks in the in the in the sixties after after the uh, the Oka uprising in in, in Cyprus. Uh, in the 50s, there were many slogans in the street in the in the in Camden because majority of the Cypriots were living in Camden. On the walls uh, of Camden were full of slogans: "Sips go home, Cypriots. Sips go home." Bloody terrorists! Every time a soldier was killed, an English soldier was killed. So we thought, how can we counteract this terrible thing? And so we. Got the idea of a Cyprus Week kind of festival to show the host community who the Cypriots are, both Greek Cypriots and Turkish Cypriots, why they came here and what is their contribution and the history that goes back to 5,000 years. And this continued till 1974, the terrible year where we had the Greek Janta coup and followed by the Turkish invasion and occupation of 36.2% of the island, where the emphasis went to tell the world what happened in Cyprus and who were behind these terrible crimes. We all know, but a lot of people don't know because Cyprus is a small island. There are so many, so many problems on the planet Earth that uh, who cares about a little island? But we do care because we love our Cyprus. We are born there and uh, we will continue to struggle for justice as long as we live. So in the, in the 80s, Camden Council was very supportive and gave us quite a lot of money to run the theater and have an advisory service in the Luncheon Club and theater for kids, theater for young people, theater for women, theater classical, and we used to get about 105,000 pounds a year. And uh, they said, George, uh, we, we appreciate what you're doing because we were also involved in the, in the problems of the Cypriot refugees. We had 10,000 refugees in London when the terrible things happened in Cyprus, both Greek Cypriots and Turkish Cypriots. And we started a campaign for the rights of the Cypriot refugees because the Home Office will not give them the rights of the refugees. They didn't want to give them the benefits uh, to work, uh, to, to, to education, housing, and etc. and the right to stay. So we started a campaign and gradually we won every bit of it. So Camden was very supportive and said, George, we appreciate what you're doing and we raise the flag at the town hall every year. And that happened for quite a few years till 89. We had Turkish Cypriots, Greeks, Turks, who are progressive, we're all working for one united Cyprus. In 89, a young Turkish Cypriot came from south of London and said, we must not raise the Cyprus flag at the town hall. 
because it does not represent the Turkish Cypriots. I said, what are you talking about? This flag actually was designed, this beautiful flag was designed by a Turkish Cypriot when Cyprus was declared independent in 1960. He was adamant, and then a counselor who was uh, the, the chair of the Grand Subcommittee, uh, and he's, he was very friendly to us uh, at that time, and his wife is a Greek Cypriot. He said, George, I want to get involved in the Cyprus Week Festival. I will put some more money in, in the festival. I said, come in, Graham. When the issue of the flag uh, arose, he said, come on, George, let's not talk about a piece of cloth. I said, you're wrong. It's not a piece of cloth, it's a symbol of unity, it's a symbol of struggle. And uh, he was adamant and he gathered all, all these youngsters together and they uh, decided not to raise the flag at the town hall. So I said, we raise it outside Theatre Technics. And he became vindictive. And he wrote a report saying that Theatre Technics is in decline, that uh, we, are, we were autocratic, and he recommended to cut the whole ground, 105,000 pounds. And we lost all the benefits there. And uh, for 10 years, we struggled without any money, but we survived. And so does two Cypriot compatriots who are with us today, Koray Sinel. Let's give them a big clap. They came all the way from Cyprus, from Cyprus. I mean, they have been able to join the Cyprus. All right, thank you, Mr. Rasenel. What they did, they raised the Cyprus flag at their shop in the north part of Cyprus. And they were taken to court for doing so. And eventually, they won their case. And that is main justification but we have in common together, Korea and Sinai, that we believe in the Cyprus flag and we shall believe until the unification of Cyprus and this flag flies in every corner of Cyprus. Yeah. Would you please come and say a few words to the... <laughs> George. has started. Um, we opened three Republic of Cyprus flags on our shop, our shop, and we got arrested by opening this flag. Um, our case has finished. We have been judged. Um, we had, we didn't find, they didn't find us guilty. So I'm proud to be a Cypriot and I'm proud to have this flag. So, for inviting us here to the Cyprus Week. I'm proud to be here. I'm proud to meet all of you. I believe that Cyprus is so small to be divided, but it's so big to be reunited yeah, yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. On Sunday, we really wanted from heart to be in front of the Turkish Embassy at Trafford Square, but from some reasons we couldn't make it. So I apologise everyone that we couldn't be there. But today we are here. Today we are with our flag. Today we are with our people. Thank you. Thank you. With these Cypriots, Turkish and Greek Cypriots, we cannot fail to achieve our long desire for a truly independent, free, united Cyprus. Yeah. For all the Cypriots who come and live in every part of Cyprus as they used to live in the old days. 
Mr. Mustafa Akinji said that he's coming from, a, uh, from Limassol in a street called Aphrodite, near all those Eleftherias there. It was there where I grew up. He's much younger than me. And he talks about the friendship and the solidarity of the people. Why do we have to live side by side and not a me mixed together in one Cyprus, in mixed exactly. villages, in mixed towns, for every go and return to their houses. No one can say you can you stay there and you stay here. This is illegal. This is it, that the Turkish Cypriot refugees can go back to their homes yes. in Limassol, in Paphos, and the Greek Cypriots refugees can go to Tyrrhenia, <laughs> to Famagusta, <laughs> to Logarbaso, <laughs> in every part of the world. We should tonight make this oath that we will work until every Turkey Cypriot is convinced that is the way forward so that Turkey cannot justify that they came to save the Turkey Cypriot minority. They have a large minority in, in Turkey, the Kurds, and they're not giving them the rights that the Turkey Cypriot had. What an audacity to say that they came to save the Turkey Cypriots. The Turkey Cypriots are victims as, as well as the Greek Cypriots. And we shall work together to really make them understand that we will not give her up. We spread it to our children, grandchildren, until this achieved. Into the island of love, there is no division. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 I'm Cypriot, and we are all Cypriot. I believe only this. And I believe always Cyprus belongs to Cypriots. The Cyprus and the Stolaudis, Cyprus, Cyprus, Larder. Yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't, I don't want to make any category. And that is the reason I don't want bizonal. Because bizonal means partition yeah, yeah. and there is not any basic human rights and uh, we want we use we raise this flag everywhere of the Cyprus and we make something first thing we want first thing and uh, now after court before decision of court we open uh, this flag in Famagusta Cada Omena area 15 days, somebody complained to go to police. Police say no, because they have a decision from court. We complain if Simeas uh, from Banot Bendadactylos. We don't want them there yeah. because they make a provocation. Mm -hmm. If we want to is, is stay, live together, oik opposite Gashi Gashi. Yeah, yeah. Together. Before Palya, uh, we want this, and that uh, mount is only for olives. And yes, this is like peace. We want real peace and real solution. We don't want any solution from outside. Yeah, we yeah. saw, yeah. we saw before, Peter and Church and United Nations. We pay the bill. We have a lot of missing person. We have a lot of people uh, died in uh, 63 yeah. and 74. We don't want, we pay. And uh, we hope and we wish from Mr. Anastasiadis and Mr. Musa Akunji, uh, they'll make a common statue for our missing person yeah. and our uh, people uh, that time died, died people. And first, we must apologize to each other because outsiders use us Cypriots. If you make DNA, we are all family. We are Salat, we are Cypriot. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. We have a little Greek Cypriot. We have a little Turkish Cypriot. We have a little Italian Cypriot. French Cypriot, Armenian Cypriot, Maronite Cypriot, Persian Cypriot, Arabic Cypriot, Jewish Cypriot, English Cypriot. It doesn't matter. If we believe we are, uh, we are Cypriot, uh, 
Kiriakos Matsit said before, if all the people believe, it doesn't matter that name category. If all of them believe, that is the real solution and peace. And uh, Mr. Dr. Isan Ali said before, we are, they are the, our uh, teachers, we learn them. And he said as well, the real solution and real uh, peace in Cyprus, if the all Cypriots believe this Cypriotism, that time the real solution and uh, peace, we can find it. Thank you very much. Really, uh, they, 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 they want what the Greek cities want. Uh, uh, union with Greece has finished as far as the Greek cities is concerned. It's dead and finished. Taksim is still there. Partition is still there. The 40,000, 45,000 troops that are occupying the north part of Cyprus are there. So the Turkish Cypriots are, are, are victims of that, and they have to be liberated. We have to join the struggle, join struggle against Turkey and all those who support Turkey. Thank you very much. I will ask Mr. Chupras to say a few words, just a few words, just representing the National Federation of Cypriots here. Kiriago, could you just be brief, please? before we're going to start the program because they are waiting here to sing and entertain us and songs about Cyprus. So, Kiriakos Tupras. So, I don't think we need anything else from what we have seen and we have heard. For I and his wife is the symbol of Cyprus, actually. Of course. It's the simple person, I believe, of the real thinking among the Turkish Cypriot community. Yeah. For various reasons that we can understand, up to now we didn't feel, we haven't seen this expression. But I think the Turkish Cypriots who, for one reason or another, would like Turkey to remain in Cyprus are so few. Of course. And the Turkish Cypriots who feel as brothers with the Greek Cyprus, as you said, all the other communities there, are the great, great majority. <laughs> you moved us, you moved us actually, but you gave an example. And I would say the example you gave for I and your wife, is more valid within the Turkish Cypriot in Cyprus, because the Turkish Cypriots here are more familiar with this feeling you express tonight. It's very difficult to find any Turkish Cypriot here who in any way could express any feelings uh, for Turkey to remain in Cyprus. So thank you very, very much about that. But what we are doing tonight is that we are continuing a very, very long story. George referred in a few words about the history of the park itself. But theatro technics, before they came over here, they started their performances and their general activities here. They started their work for Cyprus much earlier, much earlier. At the beginning with, within one room, I think, and then they were known courage. And what we are doing here tonight, we continue that story. I personally remember when 
we used to have to see and have the Cypriot flag raised at the town, at the town hall of Thunder Town. Really, from afar, when you saw your flag, you felt proud. And that continued for a few years. When we had the problem that you spoke of earlier on, it was really a blow. And Theodore Dennis continued the tradition, this very, very important tradition for the community in this country. And when I say top community, I don't mean only the Greek Cypriot community, I mean the Turkish Cypriot community. Well, George was blowing up the street. That's what, yes. if I understand, what you grew up, yeah. grew up. Yes. And Aphrodite Street in Limassol is becoming, in everyday life, nowadays, a symbol by itself. I, or we, want to be optimistic that this change in the political situation within the Turkish people community in Cyprus with Mustafa Akinji being the leader. Well, every one of us is hopeful. Personally, I think it will be a change, a basic change. We finally will lead to a solution. If there are any difficulties, of course, the Turkish community with the Greek Cypriot community, now they are starting building an alliance, actually. And I believe that with any difficulties we may have, finally, it may take some time, finally we can get what we are fighting for and what everyone actually, Greek Cypriot, or Turkish people in Cyprus and in this country wants. George, thank you again. You remind us that every year about our organization. The change is this year means that we can see realistically the possibility of realization of our own. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Of course, we must not be uh, over optimistic. The enemies, Turkey is very, very strong and has a very powerful position in the Western world and is not easy to change. But only when people like Kurai and his wife join us here tonight, it gives us that hope to continue the struggle. Let's not have any illusion or delusion that it will be this year or next year or another year. Unless Turkey itself changes, this will not happen. But it will bring us more closer and closer together, Greek Cypriots and Turkish Cypriots, to continue the struggle and raise the flag in every part of Cyprus and every part of the world there is a, a Cypriot community. Thank you very much.